Hundreds of tobacco plants are growing in this eastern German greenhouse, tended by biologist Yuri Kleba and his colleagues. The plants grow quickly. They'll be used to produce antibodies. The researchers hope they can help in the fight against Ebola. It's a kind of complex process which uh, starts by uh, the procedure that infects them with uh, foreign uh, DNA, uh, genetic material that reprograms them to stop doing everything else and just make one protein, recombinant protein, which is a medicine that we want to produce. The Ukrainian scientist is based in Germany, but many of his fellow researchers live elsewhere. All of them follow the West African news closely. Two U.S. pharma companies want to patent their technology. Their aim is to develop drugs against Ebola. But they rely on money from the government to fund their research. For a large company to develop a drug, they have to spend more than billion dollars just for the research and development and clinical trials and uh, if you have an outbreak that is not predictable when and how it occurs and if it is in countries uh, that uh, are not able to pay for the modern medicine uh, it is very difficult to justify inside of a uh, large company. The antibodies developed from these plants will be used in clinical trials. To begin with, only a handful of patients will be given the medication. In all, 30 scientists work with Yuri Kleba. Many of them are recent university graduates. The research project has been in the pipeline for a decade, and they hope the method they have developed here will help beat many other killer diseases. It's applicable for very wide range of uh, potentially useful medicines and other products for, 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 for um, human consumption. And uh, um, Ebola is just one of them. Uh, so having a good tool is very important. But for the moment, Kleba's team is focused on battling Ebola. They hope the medication they're helping to develop will get the green light from regulators in time to save countless lives.